Good afternoon, everybody. Um, welcome to my channel. I've decided to do a pick a card reading for anyone that's going through a separation or challenge with their twin flame, soulmate, or karmic partner. So what I have here is this red heart will be pile one with the X's and O's. And this pile two would be this white crystal quartz. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just holding my camera. Hopefully it's just gonna be a short, easy one. But let's go ahead and push this one to the side and we'll go ahead and get this number one pile reading done. So, I have a few different cards here. So what we're gonna start with is the tarot cards. This is the Gilded Tarot, so let's see what we have here. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, so the Ace of Swords is that you have victory or triumph over some difficulty. Um, clear mind, you're, you know, you went through some struggles and now your mind is clear. Um, and you have more inner power now. So that's a good sign, that's good. It's a good card to get. And then we have the King of Cups. Okay, so the King of Cups is a masculine energy. It's usually somebody that's mastered their emotions. Um, they could be in a caring for people type of um, job because they do care about other people. So they have compassion for other people. So that's another good card, there we go. And then let's see what our last one is here. This is the Eight of Pentacles, which is usually a new skill or it's entering a new learning establishment, like a new college or a new job or something like that. Um, so you're beginning to um, look into something new, like a learning experience wise. So something you've gained clarity on, you have mastery over your emotions and you're learning a new skill so maybe you're going into the next level so maybe you've completed one cycle and going into another level but let's see how they relate to the rest of the cards so I have this card here the love oracle and it says forgiveness stop focusing <laughs> forgiveness stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by you what you think dream and imagine so maybe um, something's happened that you can't let go of, you need to forgive someone, maybe this partner of yours. Um, maybe you're going through a little challenging time. Well, like I said, that is a challenging time or a separation. So maybe you just need to forgive. And a lot of times it's forgiveness of our own self too. Um, and if it is for the other person, forgiveness is for you because in the long run, you hold on to that poison or toxicity or bitterness, you know, like I'm never gonna get over this or whatever. It's just affecting you. So forgiveness is key here. And then I have a um, surrender to power card, which is surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. So if you've done like all you can, you've healed yourself, you've worked on the forgiveness, you came to the clarity of mind, uh, mastered your emotions, you know, just sometimes there's nothing else you can do except just um, go with the flow, surrender to spirit, you know, that's the bottom line there. So, okay, and then I have some, I got these cards here which were from, are from Divine Vision. I'm gonna do the, the darker side here. It's gonna be the shadow of the person you're dealing with, and this is going to be the light side, their higher self side. So let's see what this says. I am taking everything personally. Now remember, this is their shadow side. So they're taking things personally, everything you're saying or doing or the way you're acting, they're taking it personal. So that might be that harder, uh, harder outer shell that they're, the, um, you know, walking away, denying, maybe they're taking it all too personally, they're letting their ego get in the way. So that's that one. And then their higher self, the, the light side. Yes, your instincts are correct. I have very deep feelings for you. So maybe they've been hurt before um, and they have a little, wound, you know, some wounds to go through. Maybe, uh, you know, everybody gets damaged a little bit and carries some baggage, so. Maybe they have some work to do and need to surrender to spirit as well. Then I have some of these cards here. They're both, um, you know, more the shadowy side too. So we have abandonment. So maybe uh, you or your person has some abandonment issues. A lot of people do. So this is a little lengthy, so I'm going to read it. Definition. Issues arising from early 
desertion or rejection by a primary, primary caregiver attachment object, resulting in irrational fear of being left excluded or unloved, characterized by a disproportionate reaction to in, inconsequential departures, fear of intimacy, desire for constant closeness and reassurance, temper tantrums, crying, jealousy, clinging, or needy behavior. When I was a youth, I struggled mightily with issues of abandonment. And like I said, a lot of people do have abandonment issues. So that could be your inner child wounds that you have, and that might be creating the problem, or for your person too, of, um, you know, lashing out, being afraid to commit, different things like that. So the other card here is self-help. So before we even get into this, there is a lot of self-help you can do, um, videos, books, all kinds of stuff. So. Self-help is a definition is a catch-all term for the many ways to achieve personal growth and autonomy without professional assistance, often through peer support groups, talk shows, or books, characterized by low self-esteem, books with I in the title, 12 steps, uh, use of self-help vocabulary, the passionate yet transient investment in new philosophies, gospel truth defined by daytime television. Uh, do you think there's a self-help group for girls like us? So self-help this can be anything from like meditation taking care of yourself um watching youtube videos on the situation i know there's a lot of healing um meditation videos that are really good like why you sleep that's always good so and last but not least we have this little let go card it's a pretty card isn't it look at that view okay so it says Control your emotions, feel them, shift them, evaluate them, be a master. Okay, so it sounds like this here, I'm just going to clarify a little bit, because we had the, uh, let me see if I can find it, it's all under here. This, King of Cups, with the mastery of emotions, it sounds like maybe some of the issues could be from abandonment issues, or stemming from your early childhood or a past relationship. Usually it's your early childhood and then it reflects in your relationships that maybe you need to get some self mastery on your emotions um, surrendering the spirit and getting some self help and working on that forgiving don't compare people to each other um, self esteem and stuff like that so I hope that resonated um, and Thank you for watching. So now we're gonna to go to reading number two. This clear quartz one. Okay, let me get all the cards here. Okay, so first we're gonna do the Gilded Tarot. We have Temperance. Temperance is all about balance, um, moderation, uh, also compromising, you know, you need to do a lot of compromising in relationships for them to work well. So it can't be all about the one person side. So that's a balance and we need that in relationships. So second, we have the two of pentacles and the two of pentacles is, um, like something being juggled, um, choices, stuff like that. So you know, maybe we are juggling between career, finances, home, a relationship, all that. So there needs to be some clarity and uh, balance on that to make things work better. And then we have the emperor. The emperor is uh, a masculine energy. Um, it is somebody that's like in taking charge, uh, more rational. So uh, maybe like you need to have, you know, take charge and be in a more rational state of being, um, not too emotional. So, you know, with the balance and the juggling, coming to a decision and the rationalization. So next we're going to do our surrender card. Oh no, this card, this card here, the love card. This one says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Okay, so that kind of right, fits right in with that um, choosing, being rational and all that. So there's no right or wrong. The one main thing in all relationships you always read is communication. So communicating clearly, 
um, no head games, you know, no back and forth, you know, just be an honest, be your authentic self and realize that it can't just be all your way or the other person's way. There's got to be a compromise. So, all right, now we have this power surrender card and it says, surrender your need to always be right. <laughs> oh my God, this is like so perfect. It sounds like somebody's really trying to take control of the relationship here and have it their way. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. Yeah, this is what it sounds like. Somebody's like, it's my way or the highway, and it's causing a lot of friction here, so. Yeah, you have to compromise. It can't be all one person's way. All right, so then we have these divine yin-yang oracle for lovers, and this dark side is going to be the shadow of your person, and the, this one is going to be the higher self, the light side of, the, of the, your person. So the shadow says, it freaks me out that you can see into my soul. I feel naked. So somebody's vulnerable, feeling very vulnerable. Maybe their ego is getting in the way because they don't like to be open like that. They're afraid of being hurt. Maybe they got hurt in the past and they don't want to feel that again. They're afraid somebody's going to abandon them or leave them or judge them. Okay? That makes me sad. All I know a lot of people feel that way, but that's sad. And then the higher self is saying, I know we're connected even when we're apart. Oh, yeah, so that could be on that higher self, which this is a higher self card. So it's like 5D. Maybe you're connecting in the 5D or you feel the energy of that person and they feel yours. All right, so we're going to do two of these cards, which are more shadowy too. And we have Repression. Repression definition is an unconscious and voluntary defense mechanism which expels unacceptable thoughts, fantasies, memories, or impulses from consciousness in order to protect the individual from what might cause anxiety, pain, or guilt, characterized by an inability to satisfy ple pleasure instincts or excess motion, frigidity, forgetting or past traumas or unpalpable acts, unfulfilled longings, lack of self-knowledge, uptightness, fear of cutting loose. So again, that sounds like the somebody's repressing because you know of pain they felt before they don't want their heart broken um they don't want to show their unauthentic self just fear of a vulnerability you know just scared like the hell scared out of them <laughs> and then we have addiction so maybe somebody also is relying on something else as an addiction and addiction can be anything it can be drugs alcohol um sex um, all kinds of things. Addiction, definition, the psychological or physiological dependence on a substance or activity. The need for the addiction object grows in tandem with the tolerance for it. Withdrawal symptoms contribute to compulsive inability to stop using despite undesirable consequences. Characterized by irresponsibility, inexplicability, in, inexplicable behavior, financial problems, obesity, emaciation, denial, self-loathing, partying, fear, recrimination from recrimination from friends, loved ones, and employers, meetings, 12 steps. Hi, my name is. Dear sir, I feel you have an addiction to pain. Uh, okay. Maybe that person is a and that And your person is running from pain, so I don't think they have an addiction to pain. Okay, so... This is the let go card. Let go of the old tales and write your own adventure story. Yeah, so that's another thing too. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be in this mold. Any, all relationships and all people are different. Who says you have to have the white picket fence and the 2.5 kids and all that? You know, it doesn't have to be that way. Everybody has their own story to go with. You know, we're all unique individuals with different paths, different journeys different experiences so anyway thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed that or it resonated um thanks for bearing with me i know i'm kind of new to this so i really appreciate it peace <laughs>